All right, so increasing array problem from the CACS problem set. Uh, the problem goes as follows. Uh, you are given an array of an integers. You want to modify the array so that it, so that it is increasing. In equivalence, every element is at least as large as the previous element, okay? On each move, you may increase the value of any element by one. What is the minimum number of moves required, okay? And they put this, uh, the first uh, input like contains the an integer n, the size of the array, then the second line contains n integers, uh, x1 up, up until xn, uh, the contents of the array. And you have to print the minimum number of moves, okay? So uh, the constraints here um, are pretty reasonable. So um, n is up to 200k, and uh, every single element uh, will just uh, be at, uh, at the most uh, equal to a billion, right? And they are all positive. They go from one up until uh, 10 to the power of nine. So uh, my solution here is a pretty simple one, um, as is the problem. So I'm just re reading uh, n, and then I read the first number, which I save into a variable x, okay? Uh, and then I initialize my result variable to be equal to zero. So initially, uh, just by having the first element, um, we don't need any moves, okay? We don't have any previous element that we have to uh, be equal or greater than, uh, at least. So uh, initially we, we have zero moves as the cost. Then I'm using a for loop here. Um, I go from two uh, up until n and I, I, for, for every new number, I call, which I call nx, so it's the new number that I'm gonna read in. I read that number in and I update x. So uh, x will hold the maximum of the previous number, okay, which I saved in x, and nx, which is the newer number, okay? And the result would be updated to be uh, this maximum value essentially now. So x has the maximum value minus nx. So if let's take, let's take the scenarios where, um, let's, let's look at the two scenarios that we have here. So the first scenario is that the previous number was greater, okay? And the other scenario is that the newer uh, number is greater. So for the first scenario where the, the, the previous number was greater, uh, x will remain as it is, and then you have the greatest number minus the newer number, which is uh, now smaller, so this will give us uh, the difference between the two. So let's say uh, x was equal to 10 and nx was equal to, is equal to seven. So 10 minus seven is three. So with a cost of three, we are going to fix our array up until this position, right? So we append this number of moves uh, to their uh, result variable here. Uh, now the other case is uh, where the nx is greater. So the newer number is greater than the previous one. In that case, x will become equal to x and this will be equal to zero. So we are adding zero moves uh, to our uh, result variable because we don't really need to um, uh, up to update the new the newer uh, value. It's already uh, greater uh, than the previous one. And then simply we just uh, output the result here. Okay, so that's pretty much the solution for the problem. Very simple problem with a, a for loop. Uh, if you got stuck somewhere uh, along the way of solving this, I hope uh, this video helped you. Um, if it did, please leave it a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in whatever I will be making next. Goodbye.